three people on. guys my name is Trevor welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel where today we're dealing with some crazy Tuesday drivers <laughs> yep it's Tuesday although this video will not be uploaded on Tuesday it's probably gonna be like a Thursday video <clears throat> but anyhow I uh, I wanted to come in and talk to you guys a little bit about something because I for one, you all know, I'm going to share my struggles. I'm going to share at least what I can. I can't really share everything that, like, triggers these super struggles or the full story of what's going on. Because I guarantee if I did that, I would be in a lot of trouble, probably. And I really don't want to paint a bad image I, I'm not even sure how to really say this without even like just pointing it out but basically what I'm trying to say is I'm trying to be the the best parent that my boys need and that they could they could ask for and I know I'm gonna I'm gonna struggle I'm gonna fail I'm gonna mess up I'm gonna have mistakes but thing is is I want I really want my boys to know that I don't want them to see how women treat me and expect women to treat them that way so with like I would you know I would uh, love for them to have a better sense of relationships than I did or have had but it's really hard really hard when the person that you're supposed to uh, teach them that stuff with is very very rude we're just we're just gonna leave it at that and so I want them, I want my boys to grow up knowing that they can have a relationship and to know how women should treat them and how to treat women. And that's, that's where all these other friends that come in, they see that and I'm like, yes, they're boom, perfect. You know, they get to see their, their papa and grandma and see the happiness and see how they're, how a man as they will be someday should treat a woman and uh, who knows maybe someday soon maybe maybe God will place one in my life that'll be able to help me teach them that from home <clears throat> so anyways um, I totally lost track of what I wanted to say other than that But what I do know is I, I kind of have a question and I need to know in the comments and this has got this has to come from parents or or maybe maybe you you're not a parent but you know what I'm talking about but I just I really feel like one of my boys is is literally an angel like just some of the stuff that he does blows me away I mean one minute this poor guy was breaking down crying and the next thing I'm breaking down crying and boom he's right there to pick me back up just like I was him and I everywhere everywhere we go everybody always says oh look at him and it just it I, I really he just brings a lot of joy to everybody's life lives everybody that he touches and to me that's an angel and to think that I'm, I 
I'm raising an angel, I may be raising an angel, is just mind-blowing because as much as I'm raising him, he's raising me. <laughs> so if you guys know what I'm talking about, if you've experienced that, drop those comments down below. Let me know. Um, I'm, I'm honest, I'm genuinely uh, interested to find out like who else or if anybody else has witnessed anything like this it's it it just it kind of it baffles me i'm i'm really blown away and very grateful for it and uh man i just i it, it's hard to believe but i i i really do think he is i really do In other news, doo -doo -doo, this is what I wanted to ask or say. My biggest struggle that I've come to know is that I expect me from others. Now, what does that mean? Well, from somebody else, I expect the same as I would do. So say that let's say that uh you know this, this lady this elder elderly lady needed help with uh opening a door just a simple act right i would help her open that door that's just who i am how i was raised it's how it should be well if i expect somebody else to do that that isn't me and they don't it kind of upsets me and it shouldn't it shouldn't and that that's what i mean by i expect me from others i expect myself from others and it's something really really hard to hard to realize yourself but i i've done it here lately i've i've noticed it and i was like oh wow no wonder i have so many troubles no wonder why I I get so upset that somebody doesn't do something. Whereas if I was in their shoes, I would I would do that and then more. But reality is is they're not me. There's only me. So I'm starting. The first step, I think, is always acknowledging that there's an issue, and then what that issue is. And then after you get to that point, you can figure out a way to, to work on it, to get, make it better. And so I feel like that's where I'm at right now, is I'm on the, I'm on the path of, okay, I know that this is an issue, I know that it shouldn't be, and I'm gonna give it to God and let him show me the way, let him do his work. Because I know that I can I can get out from under this under this thinking, under this way. And when I do, it's gonna be amazing. And I mean I'm kinda of already getting there. This first start step is always realizing or knowing, acknowledging the issue the problem and that's that's one of my problems is i expect me from others and uh, when i when it doesn't happen which is often i'm kind of upset about it now i'm not i'm not saying if if you're watching this and you're thinking wait trevor are you upset with me no 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 <laughs> no no <laughs> Who, what I'm upset with is certain situations, and and that's that's really that's it. Now, if I'm if I'm upset with you, I'm gonna tell you. I'm the type of person that I'm gonna tell you. So you don't have to worry about if I'm upset with you. Um, honestly, there's very few people that I would just not even tell because they're so toxic that it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what you say they're called narcissists 
and they'll just bloop. oh that's back on you trust me it's terrible they're toxic get away get away <laughs> I know it it sounds easy and it it seems really hard but just as easy as it sounds just to say that it's that easy to just leave it really it is because everything is gonna be okay put it in God's hands and everything is gonna be okay but now we're here back at Tom and Dan's I want to give a shout out to these guys because they killed it with these wheels and tires on Miss Dora that you guys seen earlier this week and I am super excited and I still can't believe how good they look and now we're gonna go get an alignment from my man Dan here at Tom and Dan's and uh, stir up some trouble this morning <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed this video smash that thumbs up don't forget to click that red subscribe button drop those comments down below and we will catch you in the next video god bless time for dr pepper hashtag not sponsored